Are you ready to take on the evil chaos and rid Skylands of him once and for all? Yes. Yes, I am. Splendid. Now I'll just use the core to send you there. Hmm. Let's see. I simply punch in a few coordinates here and... The core works pretty fast. I sure wish we could go with the Skylander. Then we could all take down Chaos together. I agree, Callie. But I think this is something our hero must do alone. You have arrived at the moment of truth, Portal Master. Only you can defeat Chaos and rid his evil from Skylands once and for all. But beware, Chaos's elemental servants lurk throughout. Go forth and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master. Hey, yo, what's going on again, you guys? And welcome to back to some more Skylander Spires Adventure. And why I, I was I was all I wanted to say the uh, I wanted to say the finale of Skylander Spires Adventure because this feels like the finale, but it is not. We do still have some more stuff we need to do after this. But for all intents and purposes, this is the final showdown against Chaos himself. Fire, sure thing, buddy. Who do we want to use? Well. I think we should use my armor shot along with my fire. In case you were unable to tell, the reason why I was mainly upgrading Spyro, Trigger Happy, and Gilgrun is because I wanna try to use for for the final boss, I wanna try to defeat uh, not for the main level of course because for the main level, I want to play as, as we've always been done by playing as Skylanders from the elements which of which we are required. Um, but for the final boss, I want to try to defeat. I want to try to defeat the final boss by using only the original Skylanders that were that came. Just like the first episode, I want to try to do it by using the starter pack Skylanders. Now, technically, that means I have to use the non-legendary versions of them. But I figure it's not going to make too big of a difference, and I'll still be able to accomplish my goal. And also, I haven't really upgraded the non-legendary versions of these characters all that much, so that's that. Okay. Oh, did I already choose? Oh, I chose food. That's tough. So basically here, what you have to do is you have to choose either food or gems. I accidentally chose food instead of gems. So, that's tough. You know, and then you want to dash through here, and there's going to be a magic gate over on the right-hand side. Let's take down this guy really quickly with our upgraded legendary Spyro, and you're done. And over to the magic gate we go. Okay. So this time, instead of the blade rotating, it's the actual floor that rotates, and I'm going to need this food now. I didn't intend on wasting a health point there, but... You know, we did. Okay, can I get this before the... Last second! Last second bounce over the rotating blade with the bounce pad. And now both things are rotating, so that's fun. And I did have to go up the stairs, but I wanted those gems first to make up for what I lost previously, so... That's that's fun, I guess. Uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna head over here to bounce up to the top. And then keep mo Oh, no, we missed our opportunity. We're gonna have to play the waiting game a little bit now. Move... Down here, and we have to drop down, bounce up on top of the second, t t bounce to the second bounce, with the first bounce, words are hard, and bounce like so, and let's get in here and sh to activate, and then shake open the treasure chest. Alright, get these gems really quickly, and then we're going to head over to the left side and go get the hat, because we can also get a hat, and can I bounce left? This okay, good, bounce left too. Thought I might have only bounced right, anyway. Yeah, so we got the treasure chest, and now we can head over to the left, because there were two paths we could have taken to get the hat. So let's bounce up here. I said bounce up here. Bounce! Made it. And now we just have to wait for the ice blocks to line up so that we can get our way up here and get our hands on the hat. Yep. 
The other hat, Wabbit Ears. Want to wear the hat now? No, I absolutely do not. Even though I technically should because we need all the help we can get for this final boss. I just don't want to wear a hat. The Skylanders, to me, don't look spectacular with them on, so I just don't wear them. I don't need to, so I don't. And this is unfortunate. We're going to have to wait for the... I was... Okay, that's tough. If we lose Legendary Spire before we get to the final boss battle, that would be... That'd be real sad. I, I would, I'd be really, really sad if that happens, so let's not have that happen. That'd be truly phenomenal. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway. Back to back to... Uh, not, not taking that risk. Absolutely not taking that risk. Gonna keep moving forward. And Drovers is over here. Uh, choose the story scroll. Some say Chaos was born a prince. But after years of suffering insults about his ugly looks and bad smells, he kicked his father in the Wittershins, gave away his royal name, and headed out into the wilderness, along with his faithful and equally ugly butler, Glumshanks. Okay, so we had to choose between gems and a, uh... What's it? Gems and a... and the store school there. Well... Ah! No, 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 Okay, now we have to... Ah! Choose between food and or gems. I chose food because Legendary Spire was getting pretty low here. And then, if I remember correctly, we're also we're going to have to choose between a treasure chest or the legendary treasure coming up ahead, which does, of course, mean that we are not going to be able to get both in one. No, huh? I thought maybe I'm. I could I could have sworn that there was going to be a choice between legendary treasure and our treasure chest there, but I guess I remembered incorrectly. Which actually, that's probably good because that means I don't have to replay it more than once. Anyway, let's head on down here, Fire Skylander. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna break my rule. We're gonna we're gonna use as many Skylanders as we can this episode because it is the coup de gras. Well, it's not the final level, but the the for the main story, it's the final level. I want to try to use as many as as many Skylanders as possible. So I'm breaking my ordinary rule of uh, only using one Skylander per element per episode. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna temporarily break that rule. Only for this episode, though. Only for this episode will I allow myself to break that rule. Also, if we lose a Ruptor, but we're gonna have, we're gonna not lose a Ruptor. We got one down, and we got two down. Nice. Okay. Now we're gonna head up the steps. The first key, we I just saw down there, we need three keys to open that door. The first key is gonna be right here, and there's gonna be one key along the left path, and the other two along the right path. So we're gonna go left first. Uh, doesn't really matter which direction to go first, but I'm gonna go. Left first. And Earth. Don't mind if I do, and I'm gonna use Legendary Bash. Why? Well, because in the last episode I said we're probably not gonna use Legendary Bash, so, uh. We're using him. Anyway, um. We're gonna roll past these things really quickly, do it again. Ah! This is. Okay, so I did remember correctly. There is a choice, I just, I just forgot where I just remembered it incorrectly. Okay, so you do unfortunately have to play this level twice. To get both the legendary treasure and the treasure chest, which one are we gonna get first? Which one do you think? Which one? Uh, I think the tre does tre I think the treasure chest probably gives us more gold than the legendary treasure. So, yeah, we'll get that. Collected a treasure chest. I'm. Ho I hope that gave us more than the legendary treasure, but it doesn't really matter because we're we'll be able to. We're gonna be able to collect more anyway. All right. So let's just roll on by, and that was a very well-timed level up because we are about to die. Okay, roll all the way, roll all the way. Okay, another level up, and can we attack you? Attack, attack. Okay, we got him down, got him down. Another another level up. We're leveling Bash up like crazy. Okay, let's take it, take you out, and you're done. And the second key is going to be sitting right here waiting for us. We, how many times did we level Bash up, Legendary Bash up in that encounter? How many times? Did anyone, was anyone counting how many times we leveled them up? At, at least four, right? It, has to, it had to have been at least four. I'm pretty sure we at least leveled them up four times. Could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's the case. Anyway, now we of course need to head on to the right-hand side, because I don't remember what element is strong here. I'll swap back. I'll swap to... We'll use... Magic are stronger in this zone. Probably. Oh, never mind. Get get P ranked. Get P ranked. Okay. So, which magic skill do we want to use this time? You know what? Just for the lulls, let's use. Uh... Oh. 
You're not even a little bit upgraded, nor are you even remotely prepared to deal with these kinds of situations. You're, you're still level 1, for God's sake. But, you know, I... Oh, 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 we have to make another choice. That's tough. Okay. Um, wait, well, yeah, we'll go for the treasure chest again. Just because, you know, I want to... Let's, let's, let's try to make Wrecking Ball at least somewhat useful, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep moving along. I'll miss the Soul Gem. That's tough. No matter. I'll just... I'll, I'll just play this again after this, uh, after this video. I probably won't play it immediately afterwards. Yeah, Wrecking Ball's definitely gonna die here. Uh, he is nowhere near enough well-equipped. Let's, let's take out the Drill Witches first. Oh, I got one down. I did, I did manage to get one down. Ah, uh, food, 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 save me. Oh, we leveled up, leveled up. That's good. That's, that's a full heal. That's a full heal. And, alright, we got another one down. Can we get another one down? No? Okay, what's your secondary attack? Ah, an act, you, you turn into an actual Wrecking Ball. You come in like a Wrecking Ball. That's enough. Another level up. Okay, we're actually doing things we actually might... Jesus, leveled up three times already. All right, we might actually be able to do. And we leveled up again just for, just for no reason, I guess. Okay, that, that that wasn't part of the plan. All right, let's head up, grab the third key, and head on back to open up the door. Don't mind if I do. We have we now have way more than enough to upgrade Reg Re Wrecking Ball. I almost just said Reginald. I think I, no, I think it was I think I was trying to say Legendary, and Wrecking Ball. Like, oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. All right, let's. Wrecking Ball our way past these things, like so. And head on back to the triple doors. And, or to the triple locked door. Back to fire. Okay, let's actually use... Of course, I was trying to use last time. Alright. Now we're using Sunburn. Let's teleport ahead and... There we are. Okay. Put all three keys into the door. Kind of one... Count of two, count of three, and now we can head on out to the next section of the level. It's gonna be, of course, more rotating blades, and of course, a few witches over there, or so a few spell punks over there. So let's just let's teleport, let's te teleport in front of them, and keep teleporting, keep teleporting, stay ahead of the game, do it one more time, and now we can just b burn through them all, literally burn through them all with our what's it called? With our Flamethrower breath. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna. Say, I was actually just gonna. I was actually legitimately going to say flamethrower breath. So, that's interesting. All right. So we got another enemy gate or monster gate up here. All right. I recommend you take out the witches first because, of course, their little blades can get annoying at times. Teleport. Teleport. Sunburn's teleporting though is gonna make this a lot easier. I think. Okay. We leveled up. That's good. That took out one of the witches. That's all right. That's all the witches down. Now all we gotta do is oh, Lava King's down as well. All right. Next up, we got Shadow Knights. The, t the, the ability to teleport behind them is gonna make dodging this attack super super easy. So I wouldn't even worry about that at all. Teleport, and now we can get attacks in behind them, and you're done. Spell punks and flint spells and flame So no problem here. Just take out the spell punks first, or you can just mow through the flame What well, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, how, how, whatever, whatever floats your boat, however fits your fancy. And is that it, or no, we have one more, I think we have one or two more ways. Oh, dear. The hardest, hardest of all, the Night Plus, uh, Night Plus Lava King batch. Okay, teleport, teleport. We are not dying. We're not dying today. Not dying today. Move, 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 move. We gotta reassess the situation. Uh, okay. Recess, recess. Uh, nope. Okay. We are playing it safe. I'm playing it safe. Which, and we're gonna knock two birds out with one stone. We're gonna one place another fire sky lantern, and two make sure that we don't lose any lives. Because I want. I mean, okay, so I was gonna say because I want all these skylanders alive for the final boss. But all sky. But if you don't know, all skylanders heal before the final boss. Oh, that flame streak is. That flame streak is good. That flame streak is real good. Ah, well, there goes the whole don't die thing. Okay, eruptor, save us. Get my wrist jump on. Let me help. All right, lava bath time. Lava bath, save us. Okay, come on. Lo another lava bath. And is that everything? Yeah, that's everything done. Okay. We were so close to the end, too. That's unfortunate. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's all areas found. Go forth and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master.
So we didn't get the soul gem, we didn't get the legendary treasure because of course we couldn't get them, we chose we chose the treasure chest instead. And for all technical reasons, that's the level done. But of course, we still have to take down chaos. All of your Skylanders have returned to full health. Apprentice, you played right into my hands. <laughs> so what if you've managed to survive and take all of the eternal sources? Big deal. If you restored the so-called core of light, it's all for nothing. Because now you have followed me into my realm. And here I am, all powerful, and you are nothing. Okay, we're taking Eruptor off, and we're going to try, I don't know how well, I don't know how successful we'll be, but we're going to try to do this with only Legendary Spyro, Gilgrunt, and Trigger Happy. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so, there's two different, there's two different sections of this fight, just dealing direct damage to Chaos himself, and dealing damage to his minions. Now... I recommend you focus on Chaos himself and, and just kind of ignore the minions because here, Hoyt. I have to laugh. <laughs> I have to because even though you somehow managed to not get squashed, you now face the most hideous and powerful of all my minions. destroyed the core of light and will do so again meet the beast that sent eon to his well-deserved bodiless oblivion meet my hydra <laughs> Okay, the reason why I recommend you go for Chaos himself and kind of ignore the minions is because if you if you wipe out all the minions, then you're not actually going to do any damage to Chaos himself, and that's just going to be time wasted in the battle. And also, in case you haven't figured it out, the Hydra is the, basically just going to launch all of the magic spells on the uh, we had to deal with for each element, for each ma for each source boss battle. So, when we had to dodge the, the sharks, when we had to dodge the the little green balls we had to dodge these laser beams we had to dodge the fire crates all the things we've had to dodge have come back to bite us in this final form known as the hydra so dodge them when they come up and then if other than that just try to just keep continual damage on to chaos himself now i remember this being actually a lot more difficult than it's currently seeming to be of course there is still one thing that i think is specific to, that i think is exclusive to the wii version that does make this fight a little bit more annoying hmm, interesting it seems you are more skillful than eon after all perhaps there is something special inside you and i think i'll just have my brawlers bash it out of you so i can get a better look at it ah! All right, again, I don't recommend you focusing too heavily on the main. I mean, you, you can still do damage to them, uh, as I'm doing here, but I'm also not going to let... I'm, not, I'm also, as soon as Chaos comes down to the ground, I'm going to entirely focus on him. I'm not going to worry about them. These, these guys are just 
I'm doing damage to them because I can, and I don't. I can't do any damage to Chaos right now. And I think I might actually be able to take out Stump Smash, or I'm gonna get taken out one way or the other. All right, there's Stump Smash down, and that's good because I can get the health that he drops. So let me get that pretzel really quickly. Thanks for the health. Oh, I leveled up too. Awesome. And even beyond that, we're gonna get the shark attack now, which means I can get health back by just by simply dodging the shark. So, or you know, lose health because I can't dodge sharks. But either way. Works well for me, and hello, Slam Bam, how are you doing today? Oh, Ruffler's back from the dead, that's cool, I'm just gonna hide behind you. Okay, never mind, you've destroyed my cover, that's cool, that's pretty neat. I, I, didn't, I didn't want cover anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Run away, okay. Uh, Ruffler's relatively low, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to take him out. Uh, okay, come on, come on, Ruffler. Just a few more shots, a few more shots, a few more shots, come on. You're done, great. All right. Come on, either give me the level up or give me the food. Both would be great, both would be pretty, both would be pretty swell. Not gonna give me both, that's cool, I didn't want both anyway. I only wanted the food, you know what? That's cool. I'm cool. And actually, Eruptor is probably the biggest threat of all the minions that we're gonna get. So, so I'm, not, I'm honestly happy that he's down and out for the count. I don't really have anything to worry about anymore. And who are you gonna... Alright, is this gonna be Slam... If it's just gonna be Slam Bam, then I can, I can deal with that. Oh, never mind. I forgot we have to deal with all three at once. I've had it up to here with your incompetence. Actually, no, even higher. Up to here! Besides, I have three more minions who are much more deserving of this privilege. Alright, I recommend you go for Zap immediately because he is the one that has long range attacks like that that can really cause you problems. So, you definitely want to focus on him first while you're waiting for Chaos to come down. And also keep an eye on Ghost Roaster's attack because just immediately bip across the map. And that is Zap out for the count. Give me the XP and give me the food. Hopefully I'll level up. Am I going to level up? No, I'm not. But I am going to grab that food, which is equally as well. Okay, you're going to come down for a landing. No, you're not? Oh, yes, you are. You are. But we're, going, we're also going into the this attack, so that's fine by me. So all we gotta do is just shoot the red things, and then they can't do any damage just whatsoever. So no fear there. Just get as much damage in on him as possible. Oh, Stealth Elf has come. Oh, and Ghost Roaster as well. That's fun. Come on. Keep doing damage. Keep doing damage. Keep, okay, he's, he's down. Okay, great. Now we can run. Now we can just run. We can just run. Uh, we, might need, we might need to change. Yep. Okay, there, there goes Legendary Spiral. Honestly, we made it pretty far before we had to switch. All right, let's use Trilogy Nerd Trigger Happy. I don't know how useful this turret's gonna be here. I'm just gonna keep spamming the A button and hope that it works. Uh, keep spamming, keep spamming. It. Oh, I forgot you teleport. I forgot. Oh Jesus, you are already almost dead. You are already almost dead. Dodge that. Okay, okay, that's cool. Come on. Come on, Chaos. Oh, now we're doing this, huh? Now we're doing this, huh? That's cool. That's actually... Oh, it came back out on me. Okay. Well, I can tell you right now we're definitely not going to be able to uh, beat them... Beat, beat Chaos with just these three Skylanders. That plan went to crap real fast. Uh, oh, boy. That's tough. Okay. So I just, I just need to not be close by, huh? Yeah, that works. That works. Just keep keep firing with the harpoon gun. Stealth health back from the dead, huh? Well, how about you take a... Harpoon gun to the face real quickly so I can get your I can get your experience and also that. Minions! What is wrong with all of you? All you have to do is defeat one measly apprentice. Ah, never mind. I have three minions more. That should do the trick. My sword. Let's do this. <laughs> Chop Chop is just as much of a pain in your rear end as he was the last time we did this song and dance, so you want to target him first, as you as you always do, and let's we're going to have to jet back out of the way here, because you're just going to immediately destroy me if, if I don't, uh, go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Ah, fire out. Oh, and, yeah, and Gil grunts down for the count. That's fun. Okay. Alright, well, we're out of options. We're, we're out of those three. 
who do we want to bring out? Who who's good? Who's who's good? Uh, we can use stealth now because we have to deal with chop chop. So someone long range would be good. Zap. We we'll use zap. We don't need a melee skyliner for this. We need we need long range. And I forget you you have C you have C slot. Yeah, you do. Okay. No, not this one. Anything but this one. Anything but this one at this current point in time. Ah ha ha. Okay, 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 okay. Just follow the circle. Follow the circle. Follow the circle, and we will be fine. We will will be perfectly fine. We just follow the circle. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You're below half health. Funny. I thought he actually regenerated. I, I, I thought that once he got to half health, he completely regenerated his health. And zaps down. See, I warned you, this boss down sucks through your health. Okay, who can we use now? Um, I see. Okay, not the best Skylander in the world, but he worked. I, I should not have. I should not have used the Skylander. What was I thinking? This is a terrible. Okay, I'm just gonna take the death on this one. That was a terrible Skylander for me to use. Okay, I don't know what. I don't know what I was thinking there. Let's use. Let's use Sonic Boom. Launch some babies into the arena. Oh, not this. Oh no, not this one. I'm not close enough for the sound wave thing. Now I am, now I am. But I'm still getting torn apart with the lasers. Okay. So so Sonic wave him out of existence. Give me the health. Give me the health. I'll gladly take the health. Thank you very much. Throw, throw some more babies into the area, because why not? And sunburn's up next. Sunburn is up next on the chopping block. You're going to teleport out of the way. Don't mind if I just destroy you really quickly. And you're done. Okay, here we go. These I actually don't remember these guys being that big of a pain. I'm going to try to take out Gilgrunt first because his harpoon gun is going to be a massive pain in the butt if I don't. He's done. Good. And then we'll leave a flame slinger next. I think, I think we yeah we're going to be able to get him down pretty quickly. One more, one more. Yep, and you're done. Now Hex is up next. Let's launch some babies into the arena. Alright, Chaos is coming down. Don't mind if I get some get some hits in there really quickly. I, I, I could have sworn I remember that he re completely regenerates his health. Maybe I'm just remembering that wrong, but I thought that was a thing. I thought he regenerated his health. Alright, he's alright, she's down. Hex is down and out for the count. Alright, Chaos. Show me what you got. And I believe that's all the minions. I think that a after that wave, Chaos doesn't launch any more minions at you. So that was the last ma wave of minions that we had to take care of. So now all we gotta do is focus on avoiding those magic spells and taking down Chaos's health. I don't understand it. Don't you know who I am? Haven't you heard that it's a bad idea to mess with Chaos? All I need is my high dragon to defeat you, fool. That and my super strong, ultra destructive, all powerful mechanical suit, that is! <laughs> okay, so he does fully regenerate his health. Well, now we need to focus solely on avoiding the. Now we just need. The only concern at the moment, aside from dodging all these spells, 
is doing damage to Chaos, so we need someone who's going to do a lot of heavy damage up close and personal. For example... I guess Ghost Rosa would also have been a good choice, but I much prefer to play a Stealth Elf than I do Ghost Rosa, so... If we just keep spamming the melee, we should be able to get his health down relatively quickly. Oh, and I forgot, it's just a constant barrage of magic spells, one after the other. No transition between whatsoever, it's just one, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Alright, we did a fair amount of damage to him that really, right there, so... So, I think so long as we keep Stealth Elf alive, we should be able to get him, get his health back down pretty quickly. We don't have any main story by this time, so if we just focus on him and him alone, this sh shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be being the operative words there. Okay. So he's, getting, he's getting lower, getting getting lower, but then so am I. Okay, can we get him down close to half health, maybe? No, but I'd like to get myself up to at least half health with this shark session, like, Lee. Okay, that didn't happen. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost half health, almost half health. You are almost at half health. Half health? I'd say that's close enough to half health. I'd say that is either half health, or slightly above, or slightly below. So I'd say that was fairly successful. I really don't want to have to lose stealth up here, though. So I want to really keep her alive. I'm just, keep, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just spamming A button. I, oh, and she's dead. That's unfortunate. Okay. We need someone else who does who can do a lot of damage on close and personal. Igniter, maybe? Maybe Igniter. I don't really think Whirlwind would... Drill Sergeant? No, not Drill Sergeant. Erupt? No. Who do we have? Who we have that does damage on close and personal and does a lot of it? Sin no. No, I know one. Legendary Chop Chop should be great with this. We just have to keep spamming his sword attack until he goes down. Also, I'm not really worried about how many Sp Skylands we're using because I've already failed the challenge of only using the, the main three. So beyond that, now I'm I, now I'm just thinking about who who I can do the most amount of damage with before they die. Because I've accepted the fact that that the Skyline that I use is going to die. Like I know Legendary Chop Chop will die soon enough because I'm not worrying about the magic spells. I'm only worrying about doing damage to him. See what I tell you. Alright, next up close and personal damage, I think, is going to have to be... So there we are. Use... Spectral Lightning is going to be what we do here, and you're up and about, okay. Come on, change, change heads, why don't you? Life? Alright, I can respect life. And I actually might want to change a wave. Yeah, I'm going to want to change a wave. We need someone who actually does, like, like you. We I think you're gonna be good for us. We don't, we don't need, uh, some old Cinder. We need, we need someone who can just do a lot of heavy melee damage, like, like Voodoo. Voodoo is who we really need here. Not him specifically, but someone like him. So people, people like him are who we need. And we're actually, we're actually getting him pretty low, but Voodoo's also low. Okay. Almost there. Getting there. Just a few more, a few more swings. <laughs> Few more swings with the mace. This is this is doing almost as much damage as Voodoo. Alright, let's, get, let's get, get as much damage in as possible before he goes down. Come on. Come on, come on. We're so close, we're so close, we're so close. Alright, one kills down for the count. Don't even worry about it. Who now? Who now? Uh you. Along with my a few flame sword swings in there should deal with you no problem whatsoever. Come on, you're almost down. You're almost down enough for the count. And actually, because we're so low, I want the final blow to come from... Spyro himself. Of course, he dashes away the last second. Spyro's at level 1. I don't think I've I do not think I've played as, as original Spyro since the first episode. That's unfortunate. Alright, final blow. Final blow from none other than Spyro himself. You think this is over? Ha! You think wrong! In fact, I think you think... ...that I think that I cannot win! I assure you, I can! There will come another day. Oh, not now, maybe, but soon. And we will meet again. And on that day, I, Chaos, will introduce you to your sweet, sweet oblivion! <laughs> Hear my J. 
giant pudding head. Fools! Release me at once or face your unimaginable doom! Do you really think this cheap magic trick can hold me? Chaos! Ow! Hey! Hey! Cool your jet small fry. We've heard enough out of you. Finally, something we agree on. You know, you're okay when you're not putting your foot in your mouth. Back at you. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna barf now. Eon? I know you're here somewhere. You and your apprentice portal master. Go ahead! Send me back to the Outlands. It won't do any good. I'll just <laughs> keep coming back again and again and again. Until Skyland is mine! Actually, Chaos, you're not going to the Outlands this time. Uh, what? I have something more fitting in mind for you. Hugo, would you please? Me? Oh, thank you, Master Eon. You're gonna love this. <laughs> we made a few upgrades. Okay, look, let me go and we'll split this place. 70 30. What do you say? Okay, how about 60 40? 50 50? Okay! Uh oh. You haven't seen the last of me! <laughs> Wowzers, now that's fast! Whoa! Well, Portal Master, we may have seen the last of Chaos and the Darkness, but there is more to do. The journey with your Skylanders is only just beginning. That's right. Boom! Now. Looks like you did it. I can't speak for the rest of the games. Like I can't speak. Oh, I mean, I, I can speak for Giants, I suppose, which wasn't. Uh, wasn't. I feel like Giants was a bit of a letdown in comparison to this game. I was really, really excited to play Giants. I was at my. At the, I, was, I was at the store at Best. I was at Best Buy with my dad one day, and we saw it. We we're like, hey, isn't that? That's that Skylanders. We love the original game. Let's get this one. So we got it, and it was. It was fun at first, and then we got halfway through the game, and we kind of decided this is kind of boring. It, 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 with the first one, it, we, there was a drive for us to keep playing. This one, it was or this one, it was more like. Eh. But I guess I can't speak for the I can't speak for the franchise going forward, but I can speak for this game. And this game, I absolutely love. I absolutely love this game. Everything about it. It kind of makes me wish that they kept releasing more DLC for the game instead of releasing new Skylanders games, because with new Skylanders games, it, it makes you kind of have to, like, I, I went through most of the box of Skylanders this time, trying to defeat the final boss. It, it, the games kind of indirectly twist your arm into buying as many Skylanders as you can, and I know that if I was to buy any more, I would just feel too tempted to try and complete the collection, and I just don't have that kind of money to spend. So, I, I, I wish that they would just they would have just kept adding to this game instead of making new ones. But obviously, for practicality reasons, this was released on the Wii, and that, that generation of consoles, for practicality reasons, that couldn't happen. But, you know, what are you going to do, I suppose? I love it. I, I think it's a lot of fun. That's right. Of the two Skylanders games I've, I've played, it's the better one. Uh, so, that's I guess that's that. 
And I'm talking about Legacy of the Walker, but it's not. I still, we still have the four adventure backs to go through, and then, of course, the heroic challenges. And then after that, we'll be able to call this walkthrough finished. For now, however, that is going to be this episode of Skylanders Spiral's Adventure. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, and until then, it's been a game. And then, it's off, saying you hope you have a fantastic walk day, and I will catch you next time for some more Skylanders Spiral's Adventure. Goodbye, and enjoy the credits. If they just thanked me and uh, got it over with. I mean... I guess they just want to show you who worked on this game, and I don't know. The whole thing seems kind of egotistical to me. I mean, you don't see me walking around bragging about all the great things I've done. Believe you me, done a lot of them. In fact, if you think about it, we're the ones who actually just did all the work. I mean, saving Skylands and all. They really should have just had a big old picture of us up here. And uh, then we could all go home. I know a lot of ladies out there would certainly appreciate it. The picture of me, I mean. Okay, so what we're doing now is something called breaking the fourth wall. And since I'm acknowledging that fact, does this mean that I am now breaking the fifth wall? I don't know. What I do know is that all this wall breaking is making me hungry. Maybe it was just me saying enchiladas earlier, but I could sure go for a plate of those right now. Tell you what, after our enchiladas, maybe you should bring a few new Skylanders back into the game and see what you can do with them. Okay, enchiladas it is, your treat. And uh, take your time. Don't worry, these credits will be going on for a while. I'll be here. Maybe I'll bring the salsa for a little cha-cha-cha. <laughs> and then we'll have cake. Oh!
My word! You've done it! You've actually done it! I knew you could! Wowzers, this might even make you almost as popular as me. Almost. <laughs> so much fun, extremely! You are a happy dancer. But can you make more happy? Do all Skylanders play with the highest upgrades? I can play this with you. Yep, I gotta admit it. You're pretty good. But are you good enough to beat all of my heroic challenges? When you feel up to it, come and see me. Hmm. Then maybe we'll both find out. <laughs> <laughs>